recorded from my parents' house in Metro Detroit. Starring your host, famous artist Cole Brazel. With special guests, Ethan Klein and Joey Salads. And musical performances by Royalty Free Vlog Music. This is How To Art Stuff. What's up guys, welcome back to How To Art Stuff. Today I'm doing another painting of some YouTubers. Just, you know, really hoping one of these catches on and, you know, kind of skyrockets me to that YouTube famous thing. So without further ado, this is How To Art, Ethan Klein from uh, H3H3 and Joey Salads from H3H3. Enjoy. I've talked a lot in previous videos about the technique behind painting a portrait. So for this one, I thought, you know, wouldn't it just be cool if I talked about something a little more abstract in this video? For instance, providing a narrative or a meaning to your artwork. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So when I started the thought process for this painting, I already knew I wanted to paint Ethan. He's just got one of those paint me faces. But what I didn't know was how to set my painting apart from all the others. I needed a narrative, a story, something to get the toilet turning in your mind. So I sat down in my thinking chair and came up with the idea to paint Ethan pulling off this mask of Joey Salads. And just for a little bit of context, I'll give you a brief history lesson on the relationship between Ethan and Joey. So Joey is this YouTube prankster and Ethan is this YouTube reactor. Joey did some morally questionable pranks and experiments and Ethan did some juicy trash talk. Joey juiced back a little bit but then got exposed for faking social experiments and Ethan was all, let me interview you. And Joey was all, okay Ethan, that sounds great. And now they're best friends. Maybe. I can't really tell. Okay, back to the painting. When creating art, the most important thing is to hold your viewers' attention. You can do this by giving them lots of stuff to look at, or by creating a composition that draws their eyes throughout the painting, but the best way to keep someone's attention is to make them think. A narrative is the thousand words part that a picture is supposedly worth. That being said, I think it's a common misconception that those have to be the words of the artist. And that is where you can draw the line between fine art and propaganda. Now if you want to spell everything out for the viewer, that's all fine and dandy, but it comes with a few risks. For instance, they don't agree with you, and your artwork is overshadowed by the differences in opinions, or you run the risk of them still not getting it, and you're stuck arguing with someone about how your painting isn't a visual representation of why you think the earth is flat. There is nothing wrong with a little bit of ambiguity. Just ask Christopher Nolan. Let the viewer decide what the painting means to him or her. You can check your grade C politics and philosophies at the Facebook status door. So what is this painting really all about? Honestly, I have no clue. I just thought it'd be funny. But let me know in the comments what you think it's all about. That's all I've got for you today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, uh, tweet this video at homeboys so I can get a little validation for all my hard work. And as always, please remember to clean your brushes.